What are we doing? Cheese. Cheese? <laughs> yeah, we are doing cupcakes over here to eat over there. We're going to show some uh, Project Send some love. Uh, Christmas break is coming up in a couple days for me. I'm going to take about a week, a little bit week, week and a half off. I'm going to buy that to his Christmas week. Yeah, okay, sure. What we're going to do to Project Sin. So we yeah. got some new wheels and tires on Project Sin. I originally wasn't going to put new wheels or tires or bigger tires on Project Sin, but I got <gasps> such that, a good that, deal that, on them. What? We should put new wheels on. You know what you want we could? What? Big monster truck wheels. Monster truck wheels. Yeah. As I was saying, I got such a good deal on these. These are Nissan Frontier wheels. Hey, look. They're have, a little bit larger. Look, Dad, we have a big wheel in here. That's a monster truck wheel. So, I got them a really sweet deal. We'll hey, talk look, about Dad, that later. Look, Dad, we have this. This is what we're going to Dad. do for the project. Dad. What? We have a big monster truck wheel. Let's okay. Hook now, up zip in. it so I can do the yeah. video. All right, we, okay. could, we could put it So, in. what we're going to do here I is want... take our spare tire here. What are we doing with that? It's just been riding around in the back for a while. Just a plain old steel spare tire. Hey, Dad. And we're going to mount it hey, in the back on the rack we've already got. Hey, Dad. What? There's only one more thing I have to tell. We could put that big monster truck wheel right on there. And we could buy some more big monster truck wheels to put on that side and that side. And on this side and this side. All right. So we've got our bed rack here. And what we're gonna do, we got a toolbox that's been back here I keep tools in. We're gonna take that spare tire and mount it to the bed rack somewhere approximately in here so it's not riding around in the bed, loose. Hey Dad, I have a good idea on the bed. We could sleep on a bed right there. Yeah. Bed. And we're probably gonna have to take the supervisor inside and give him something to eat so he'll let us do the video. Who? You. No, you. But I've got some Unistrut that I'm gonna run across the back of this, a couple pieces. And we're gonna take some four inch plate that's a quarter of an inch thick. Dad. And we're gonna mount that Dad. to the back, right there by the back windshield. Slightly over to the left, and then right here, we could put, take maybe a uh, ammo box, a couple ammo boxes, hey, Dad. and mount those to the Unistrut, and Dad. put tools and jumper cables and all that stuff in there. Hey, Dad. So stay tuned. Hey, Dad. What? Um, we could put some, some... Muzzle device? Hey, no. Why are, are we doing that stuff today? Probably not. It's getting dark. I might get started on one piece, but that's it. Safety first. We're going to be using this cutoff wheel. So safety first. When you're messing with these tools, remember to squint your eyes so you don't get stuff in your eyes.
All right, here's what we're doing. Okay, I cut myself two eight inch plates. These are four by quarter inch thickness. We've got our rim here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take one plate and we're gonna have studs drilled. I'm gonna drill holes and pull the studs through and weld them so that we'll have two holes to mount this and then we'll have a piece of pipe and then we'll have another one and this will hook up to the unistrut brackets okay understand understand Before we get too far along, I do all the work before I get it on video. Unistrut. This is what we're going to use. It's very modular. It's got this little channel here you can put fittings in and move it up and down as you like. Alright, so I've taken this piece of unistrut. This is the bottom piece. Welded it. Well, just tacked it in for now. I've got a welding blanket up top on top of the roof of the truck over the glass. I don't want to get any welding splatter or grinding spray on the window and ruin it. Then there's our uh, four inch plate, which is quarter inch thick. I, uh, are straw bells flammable? I'm sure they are with enough weld splatter. So we got the old handy dandy fire extinguisher there. I just uh, used some straw bells for some other stuff and that one was in there and it happened to be a perfect spacer for the wheel to get the height I wanted to take measurements. Here is our plate. The other eighth inch plate, it's got two bolts that go through and go through the where the lug nuts go. This is the part that will be towards the window, mounted to that plate. And today we are using the MiG-170, titanium MiG-170. I've had this for about six months now. I traded in the flux... Uh, I think it's the Flux 125, Flux 150, the old cheap $100 Harbor Freight Welder Flux. This one here does Flux and MIG with the bottle. This is uh, dual voltage, 110 slash 220. Right now I've got it hooked up to 220 Flux. Got a cord that goes into the shipping container that's got 220. 220 just welds better. You can burn hotter and it runs a little smoother. I do have a bottle, it's just out, so I'm using Flux. Flux works, uh, usually works better in the uh, outside windy conditions anyways. So we'll give a slight review on that. I was gonna do a big review on it, but um, it's just gonna, process took too long and I was MIG welding it with a bottle and I ran out of bottle so that'll have to wait you're just gonna get a slight review I've used this on a few projects now and it does really well uh, the cheap old hundred dollar welder from Harbor Freight is good but this is way better so we're gonna tack in this next piece of unistrut and we'll try to get some video of welding with the titanium welder from Harbor Freight. Okay? Okay.
I got a weld, bro. Um, um, um. So it is 3.24 p.m. 3.24 p.m. Mm -hmm. And you are still in your pajamas. Mm -hmm. Would you like to explain why you're still in your pajamas? Mm -hmm. To get some fancy new boots? Goodness. All right, so I'm gonna show you this before we paint her up. Did this with the titanium MIG 170. It worked great for this project. Headache rack slash tire mount. I just wanted to show it to you before we painted it up. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna paint it up and get that tire mounted. I need to clean the tire, it's got a lot of rust on it. But that will be for another day, I'm not doing that today. Get this thing painted up and get that tire mounted on there so we can show it off. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Titanium 170 MIG. It is a good welder for the dirt worker, dirt mechanic, fabricator, whatever you want to call it. Hey, leave that alone. Keep doing it the way you're doing it. Other way. Hey, guess what? What? This tire has a big hole in it. Oh. It's not even holding air. I'm gonna have to get a new spare tire. Ah. You gotta grunt some more. Give it some more grunts. Go ooga dooga. Go ooga dooga. Other way. Now you gotta say ooga dooga when you do it. Ooga dooga. Come on, say ooga dooga. That's not ooga dooga. All right, just a little recap of what we finished today or the past couple days. Said I gotta clean that rim up, paint it black. That tire's gotta be replaced. Probably it's got a big old hole. It's got a lot of tread left, but. Right up top, about right there. It's leaking air pretty bad. So we gotta finish that. As I stated, we got this little headache headache rack kind of thing going on. Uh, I may uh, get a jerry can for gasoline to put there. We could put a shovel there or a toolbox. Right now we got our tools down there. But that is it, Unistrut headache rack slash tire mount. Now then, while we're here, let's go over the upgrades we've done. So these are Nissan Frontier wheels. I think they're, uh, might be a 2006. I don't remember. But the tires are, let's see if we can find the tire size. Uh, uh, uh. 255, 65, R16s. So they're slightly larger than what comes stock with this truck. All right, so to get those tires on, uh, they would have fit without lifting the truck any, but I went ahead and lifted it myself. I did my own, uh, I made some lift shackles for the back, extended shackles. Those shackles gave me an inch and a half of lift. And then the front, I did torsion bars. 
the torsion bars, I cranked those up. So it's about an inch and a half. And the tires, uh, the tires from top to bottom are three inches taller. So that makes an inch and a half overall height. So overall, we got three inches of lift on the little Nissan. And just for those that don't haven't seen the rest of it, Project Sin. There you go. One last shot of the tire. Thank you for watching.